Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your general meeting for May of 2020. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. So let's get straight into this here. I have your pre-shuffle. I'm using the Wild Unknown Tarot for your reading this month. I love this deck. It's so beautiful. But all right, in your pre-shuffle energy, um, I'm sure you could see already, but you're starting, the, the overall energy for you is the Empress. And what I heard when I saw this initially for you, Capricorn, is that abundance flows. Mm. Ooh, excuse me. You may be um, the individual that is kind of embodying this energy. You may identify as like an empress energy. Or you may have been working on identifying that um, or integrating that, balancing that out, getting comfortable with that, getting familiar with that type of energy. Or this is just... Um, a universal element this is just the energy surrounding you right now i feel like there's a lot of healing that's going on for you capricorn maybe even a lot of rebuilding of your life you have the three of pentacles the two of cups but you also have that with the devil and then you have that with the nine of swords i'm sorry the three of swords and the nine of cups um a, a happy turn of a turnaround is something that I'm picking up on here. There's some sort of wish fulfillment or satisfaction that I feel like is coming forward after you do some rebuilding, some remastering, um, some self mastery work. Uh, maybe when after coming out of a toxic relationship. Now, for others of you though, I feel like there is some sort of toxicity right now that's being ironed out whether that's in a re current relationship that you're in or just in your life in general and i'm seeing um satisfaction after the after the pain after the heartbreak after you do wh whatever this work is you need to do in order to rebuild your life in order to fortify your foundation to change the descriptions to, to change the discrepancies in your foundation that that help you align with this toxicity, the codependency, the devilish energy, the 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 the, the addictions, whatnot, whatever. Um, I'm just seeing <clears throat> with this with this uh, three of swords, nine of cups. I feel like Capricorn over the month of May, or whenever this reading resonates for you, or over throughout this cycle, because this cycle could or this circumstance could extend further beyond may right so over the course of this cycle whatever it is you're rebuilding from whatever it is you're changing however it is you're working on self-mastery here uh, fine-tuning yourself um in terms of what you're experiencing in the external versus what you truly want to really want to be experiencing i feel like over this process capricorn you're taking whatever negative energy is is, is represented by the three of swords here for you and turning it into satisfaction, turning it into positivity, turning it into some sort of wish fulfillment, nine of cups. Like literally taking that negative, heartbreaking, heart shattering energy even, and transmuting it into the exact opposite. Somehow, some way. But you see, the Empress can do that. She can, I mean, think about it this way. You could think of the Empress energy as Mother Earth or Gaia, right? Um, when we're purging, when we're healing, when we're releasing things, a method that we can use is sending the energy into the Earth, sending the energy into to Mother Gaia as almost, well, as quite literally energetic compost, right? She is the Earth. She takes things into her, into her celestial body they decay the nutrients then is released into the soil and thus new life is birthed from it from that death from that decay trans is it comes new life that energy is transmuted and the new can can live and that's what i see here you may be doing some sort of internal composting <laughs> you know to help change your life. But what I feel like here, Capricorn, is this is setting the stage to change your life in some major ways moving forward, okay? Finally releasing or letting go of some sort of toxicity or codependency. Oh, gee, Capricorn, I totally forgot. This is you showing up in your... <laughs> I totally forgot. The devil is Capricorn. Okay, beautiful. All right, cool. 
So let's get in to the rest of this here. See what else we have for you, Capricorn. And ooh, look, the Ten of Cups. Oh, that's cute. I like that. That really wanted to really wanted to show itself. So good. That's what you're moving towards. The Ten of Cups. I love that. Beautiful Capricorn. Beautiful. Let's give this one more shuffle. And then we'll see what we've got for you here. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved in terms of general energies for the month of May 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Capricorn, they're saying to only give three shuffles here. So, all right, that's what I'm going to do. One. Two. For my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of May 2020. General energy, general reading, and three. All right. <clears throat> Overall energy, Capricorn, we have the Wheel of Fortune. And check it out, honey. I feel like you have a direct hand in what is uh, whatever karma is changing is changing out for you. I feel like you're you're literally taking steps to get that karmic change to happen. Now this isn't I don't I, I want to make it clear that I'm not saying that you know you are consciously driving this ship to exactly to a destination that you've set. I, there is still an energy of the universe being in control and taking you to whatever it, whatever next experience you're going to have in life is. However, you Capricorn are taking the action steps to facilitate the change in this karma. Okay, so I really, I feel like you're working in tandem. You are working hand in hand with the universe. Again, I don't feel like you have an understanding of exactly where this is going to lead you. That's not necessary. That's not necessary to understand. What's, un what's necessary to understand for you right now is the fact that you are, do you, are, you are currently activated within the current moment and doing what is necessary to do for your own healing, for, all, for your own well-being for the reshaping of your foundation, for the self-mastery that we were talking about with that three of pentacles, all that kind of energy, okay? And that just keeps coming up. Again, you don't know where you exactly it's going to lead you to, okay? But you know it's going to be better than where you're coming from because you're doing the work to, to, to heal from that, to, 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 to integrate the lessons from that and all that stuff, right? Change of karma, wheel of fortune. Underneath the wheel of fortune, you have the four of wands. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful. The Four of Wands is feeling like a checkpoint here for you. Um, it's feeling like a moment where you have sufficiently or adequately learned something, integrated something, nailed something down is what this is feeling like. And thus that is becoming a springboard for you to move on to the next phase. This Four of Wands does feel like a completion of a lesson. The Four of Wands, is it's kind of giving me this energy of, okay, I've sufficiently learned this, or I think more specifically, because the Ten of Pentacles can also be a completion of a lesson too, right? That's where you're like, you're getting ready to graduate. What this is, what this is saying to me is, you may have completed this lesson a while ago, but you haven't you didn't necessarily fully integrate the meaning for yourself or come to an understanding of what it could mean for yourself or come to an understanding, integrated it sufficiently enough so that you can now take that and move forward with it and create something new or create something better in, in relation to what it is you learned here. Okay, the Four of Wands is feeling like the, inter the, the, the full amount of integration of whatever this is, this lesson, this circumstance, this understanding has been for you so that you can now take an active role in changing your alignment, changing the karma, okay? 
Underneath the Four of Wands is the High Priestess. Yes, 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 yes. In some cases, I'm feeling like this is you, <laughs> Chloe. <laughs> I just heard your name, and so I thought it was funny. I mean, I was picking up on your energy anyway, but I was hearing your name, so I thought I'd just throw it out there. Hi, Chloe. <laughs> anyway, but this is, in, in some cases, this very much is you. In other cases, this is you having the higher wisdom, the higher understanding that you need to move forward. Underneath the High Priestess is the Queen of Cups. Go ahead, Capricorn. I know that's right. Now, this is not, we are not talking gender, okay? This, this is a gender neutral channel, all right? But what this is speaking to, the Queen of Cups, this Queen of Cups is speaking to compassion, empathy, understanding, unconditional love, emotional maturity, emotional awareness. Emotional awareness. For sure, Capricorn. Okay, cool. You've really grown. You've really matured very, very well, Capricorn, and this is beautiful. All right, Chloe, let's get let's let's get into the rest of the reading here. First half, second half of the reading. First half of the reading. Second. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait. Chill, Eric. Okay, here we go. I'm a little scattered. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Uh, first set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here. Capricorn. <laughs> I never should have said your name because now I just keep wanting to say it instead of saying Capricorn. Anyway. <laughs> okay, first set of surrounding energies for you. Ace of Pentacles. All right, Ace of Pentacles. This is very, very good. This is a brand new start. This is a brand new reality. Okay, this is beautiful. I feel like you've already embarked on this, Capricorn. Ooh, I feel like whatever the Ace of Pentacles is representing for you, I just feel like this is well underway. You've been working at this for some time, and also you may not have been consciously aware that you were working towards this. Now you have the awareness for sure, but in hindsight, you may look back and say, wow, I was actually preparing for this or working on this much longer than I thought or much longer than I was aware of. That's kind of the energy that I'm feeling of this Ace of Pentacles. But it's like, yeah, this is the new start. This is the new beginning, the new reality. You're starting over. You're finally having a new beginning is something that I'm hearing for some of you. Okay, that's beautiful. It's been a long time coming, hasn't it, Capricorn? You've worked hard, you've worked dig diligently, and now you're getting some sort of payoff here in a change of karma or a change of scenery or environment even. Ace of Pentacles is coupled with. There it is. There it is, that Three of Pentacles again. This self-mastery is like the main, the, a central theme for your energy right now, Capricorn, for this month of May or for this period, whatever this period is for you. And here's, oh, this is so cool. So the Three of Pentacles can be seen as an energy of building the foundation that ultimately is represented by the four of pentacles right well here you are capricorn in this three of pentacles state working on the energy to or working whoops on the self mastery sorry guys working on the self mastery to to have that fourth pentacle to to fortify your foundation that's really cool that's really cool all right. Some of you are working on building a family. Some of you are working on building a home for a family. That was something that just I just picked up on. So cool. Congratulations. Like, do it, do it, boo. Do you, do you, boo, boo. Yeah. Your second set of surrounding energies, Capricorn. In the first half of your reading. Oh wow! Look, now you have the King of Cups. Lots of emotional maturity. However. However, I feel like this is a masculine individual surround around you. And it's interesting because I was kind of picking up on that in the pre-shuffle. But I'm not really getting anything else about this King of Cups. I just feel like there was an in initial spark that there was there's someone around you that is actually this King of Cups energy. And this could be someone actually that's working on mastering themselves 
along with you, maybe in tandem, maybe you guys are working on this together or you're kind of like on the same path and doing it individually, like on your own terms in your own lives, but you're kind of like neck and neck with each other. You are moving at the same momentum. You kind of like your paths have aligned for like at least this moment and you're kind of like say, hey, hey buddy, what's up buddy? How you doing? How you? And you can like bounce ideas off of each other, blah, blah, blah. Okay. This also could be your your mass your internal ma your inner masculine energy. And this actually could be what it is you're working on. So there could be a masculine individual around you that's helping you understand whereas you're kind of like more of on the feminine side potentially or it could be the other way around. Um and like you two are helping each other. One person's helping with the masculine energy. One person's helping with the feminine energy. And it's like you you guys, it doesn't mean that you're meant to have a relationship with each other other than this or further outside of this realm here. But ultimately, this is kind of beautiful. It's timely. It's exactly what you need. It's like you don't even know what you would do if you didn't have this individual in your life to go through this experience with you because they provide so much of the valuable sounding board type energy and you guys actually provide that to each other. That's so cool, Capricorn. It's like you have a transition, buddy. <laughs> the King of Cups is coupled with the Seven of Pentacles. Wow, okay, so I'm really getting a lot of conversations here. And I feel like there is another, there is an individual in, whether, whether it's a man or a woman, it does not matter. I do feel like there is a balancing, a counterpart type situation between the masculine and the feminine. I'm not speaking to like twin flame romance. I don't think this is a romantic romantic situation. It could have romantic twinges, but that's not really what I'm picking up on here. And also this isn't a love reading. This is your general reading. Love reading is gonna be after on Patreon. Um, but I feel like there are a lot of conversations that are happening either between you and another individual, or it could be you and a number of other individuals. It doesn't matter. This is a general reading, but I feel like there's a lot of conversation that's helping you put a lot into perspective, Capricorn. Between the King of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles, I'm picking up on a period where you can discuss things and kind of put compartmentalize things, put things in order, put things in place, organize your thoughts, um, come to understandings of certain elements and certain things that have shown up in your life and start to put them in perspective. That's what I feel like is happening here. Which then, because the seven of pentacles is an energy of learning through the contrast, right? So ultimately this is helping you align things line things up very much like how these seven pentacles are lined up, right? Something or someone is helping you align things, line things up so that you understand, you have a greater understanding of it. So that you can make a decision moving forward more easily or that much more easily about where it is you wanna go, how you wanna go about doing things and what it is you wanna manifest moving forward. <clears throat> Okay, your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Capricorn. Ooh, whoa, okay, there we have the lovers. Wow, so funny because I was just saying how I don't feel like this is a romantic situation and then here comes the lovers in the challenge. So here's the thing, maybe you are challenged by the fact that there could be some sort of romantic attraction between you and someone that is really, that is really at least it seems on the surface is really just meant to be helping you being like your your transition buddy we can call it um but also so i thought i just find that kind of ironic and funny but ultimately the big message here in the challenge between the lovers is you have a choice to make as to um what is really going to be fulfilling for you and how the, and how you get there. And here with the King of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles, either this is an individual in your life that is more on the masculine side that is allowing you, that is helping you work through some law, uh, some um, contrast to, under, to find greater understanding, or this is masculine energy, masculine energy within you, or 
it is a sense of emotional maturity that's putting all of the pentacles or all of the things and in, in circumstances into place to understand it greater so that you can understand what your heart would say is the next move. Okay. The lovers is coupled with Okay, there's the five of wands. Now, now this is good though. This actually feels really healthy because this feels like a healthy dialogue within yourself. Yes, it does feel like internal conflict, but ultimately it feels like a healthy dialogue within yourself saying, okay, let's get down. Let's really get down to the bottom of all of this. What do we do about it? It's not destructive. It might be a bit chaotic, sure, because there's a lot that needs to be understood. There is a lot that needs to be ironed out and handled. But I, I, I'm going to be honest with you, Capricorn. I really like this lovers and the five of wands energy because it feels quite mature. It feels like you're really looking at things or you have an opportunity to look at things really truly as they are, or you're trying, to, at least trying to see things as they really truly are, making a concerted effort to really iron something out or iron your life out or iron out what you what it is you've been through so that you can have a greater understanding of it moving forward okay i really like this for you capricorn closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here there it is the hermit that's beautiful getting into your sense of self getting back to your inner light Allowing your light to shine, following your own path, following your own truth. Honoring it, showing up for yourself is something I just heard also. Very nice, Capricorn. The hermit is coupled with... Oof! Yikes! And then that takes us to the Nine of Swords. What is that about, though? I'm hearing some, there's something someone here is afraid of looking at. Um, someone could be afraid of facing themselves. Someone could be having trouble facing themselves. Uh, interestingly enough, there is an energy here of someone re recognizing that there's, there's going to be a little bit of hell to pay once you do face yourself here. Ugh. Okay, but ultimately that is par for the course. Uh, oof. all right. Why in the Nine of Swords on that hermit, though? That's... I mean, going within is also going to help you clear up a lot of this anxiety or fear that you might be feeling. I'm going to do something... A little crazy, Capricorn. Because <clears throat> I really don't, I really want to know why this Nine of Swords is here. So I'm going to clarify that a little bit. I don't normally, I don't normally do this. If you're watching and you're like, hey, wait a second, you never clarify for any of the other signs. You're right. I never, I don't, re I very rarely do I do this. But there's something about this Nine of Swords here that doesn't sit quite right with me. So I want to, I want to see what it is. Nine of Swords. From a Capricorn. Why is this Nine of Swords here on the Hermit? Why is the Nine of Swords here on the Hermit for my Capricorns? The Five of Pentacles. What? There's it, there it is again. Temperance and the Nine of Swords and Death. Okay, so check it out, Capricorn. At the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Cups. So look, yeah, there is something that someone has been avoiding here. Um, and actually, okay, okay, this could be, this really could be um, uh, the integration and the balancing of masculine and feminine energies. And that could be why there, some of you have some sort of external being that either embodies the masculine or the feminine energy that is, a, that is helping you balance these energies out. Like, it's like they're giving, they're helping provide you with a, with a perspective from like either the masculine or the feminine, whatever is the opposite to that which you resonate with more. Makes sense. There is a lack of belief in oneself, feelings of inadequacy. And I can't even, I can't even really pick out 
which is more dominant. It feels fairly equal. There are some individuals that are um, not so acquainted with their masculinity. There are others individuals that are not so acquainted with their femininity. I'm, I'm just feeling a very balanced energy here between the two in terms of needing to have that extra external perspective to help sort of generate that within yourself. But there is a transformation that is going to need to happen here. And I feel like that's something you've been avoiding for quite some time. Not for any other reason other than the fact that you just don't feel good enough or don't, you don't feel like you... There might have been something that happened um, early in life that helped, uh, like I want to say in your childhood, that's what I'm kind of feeling here, that helped reinforce negative belief systems surrounding masculinity or femininity. And as a result, in your life moving forward, you dealt with an imbalance of that energy. And now it's time to, you're at a point in your life where you can start to balance that. But yeah, that would make that, but yeah, you would have to face yourself. And yes, that's going to bring up a lot of fear and anxiety, but it's nothing you can't handle Capricorn. Okay. Keep that in mind. It is nothing that you are incapable of handling. Let's get into the second half of your reading here. First set of surrounding energies for you, Cappy Cap. We've got. Okay, the page of wands. Excellent. This is you re-identifying yourself, showing up differently in the world. <clears throat> and this is what you're working towards. Page of wands is coupled with, okay, the seven of swords. So this is something that's not happening overnight. It's also not something that's not necessarily, you're not really trying to show on the surface. I don't feel like this is something that you're really trying to let anyone in on unless it's the people that you're discussing things with. Or it's not even really something that you really want to fully put out there until you have it well under your belt. Until you can truly turn around and say, no, this really is me now. That's wise. That's advisable. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn. We have... There's the strength card. That's beautiful. And I'm hearing having the strength to overcome your obstacles, to face what needs to be faced, to pull yourself out of the trenches. I mean, that's beautiful, Capricorn. There's a lot of faith here with the strength card that I'm feeling, but also there's a lot of compassion too. Like the lion is a very fierce energy, but man, it's also, it's also a big cat. Like I'm, okay, look. Look, I'm not trying to say go out there and be the next Joe Exotic, okay? But I am saying a cat can be very loving, very affectionate, especially a male cat. Y'all, all y'all with male cats, y'all know just how sickeningly sweet <laughs> their affectionate times can be, right? And that's kind of what I'm feeling here. There's a lot of, especially since there's a rose, there's a rose in this lion's mouth, but I just feel like this strength has a lot to do with compassion and empathy and understanding. Very Queen of Cupsy, hmm. which is at the bottom of the deck and the overall energy for you. Strength is coupled with, oh, the tower. Well, if there was going to be a moment that strength is necessary or is a good thing to have, now would be it during a tower moment, I'd say. But the, actually, the compassion is very, very necessary here because this tower moment feels like a lot is changing, not just for you, but for a lot of other people around you. And a lot of the things that are changing for the people around you could, in fact, be a direct result of the changes you're making to your life. But I don't want you to feel bad about that. You are allowed to make changes to your life. But as things fall away and as things go through this period of destruction, it's like compassion and empathy is really quite necessary here. But I feel like you have that on lock. Like you, you've got that down pat real good. And that's excellent. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Capricorn. Three of Cups. Finding soul family through the destruction. Finding the community that you need, that you, maybe you've been looking for, asking for help. Yeah, that, that, oof, yikes. Especially for some of you more masculinely oriented Capricorns out there. Yeah, asking for help is really going to be a challenge. 
may have always been a challenge for you, but it's really necessary now. It could really help you. Also, the challenge I feel like is going to be just in connecting with other people, allowing yourself to be social. It's like, how do I even be social now? What does being social even mean anymore? That is actually a really good thing. It's a good place to be in Capricorn because it's it's speaking to the fact that, you know, your 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 life, your reality, your surroundings are really changing. And so that means how you interact with people is changing. And I feel like it's changing for the better. Very much so for the better. Three of Cups is coupled with. Oh, okay. damn. Look at that. The Seven of Wands. Yup. Changing the way that you interact with people, changing the way that you show up for yourself, changing changing the people that you hang out with or that you that you keep around you. Being very conscious of who, the energies around you and who is around you now. I mean, that might be a challenge for you. Yeah, that's what you're challenged with right now. But I think it's more of a situation of this is what you need to do or this is what you will need to do once you reach this phase because this is the second half of your reading. You can kind of see this as maybe the second half of your month. It really doesn't matter. Time is an illusion and energies are fluid. But whenever you reach this moment, you are going to be challenged with really being conscious of who is around you. Maintaining an awareness of your vibrational health and your vibrational reality. And if there are people in your vibra or in your energetic space that are destructive, that are low vibrational, that aren't really vibing or resonating with you any longer, then you're going to have to create some boundaries. That might be challenging. That might be a challenging thing to undertake. But also, I feel like this as a whole is a, is a task you are challenged with. Doesn't mean it's going to be all that hard in some situations, some cases. Yes, it could be. But this is going to be, like, like take this as like your job. This is your assignment. This is your homework once you reach this phase, this period. Because ultimately, look, you have the tower here. Because things are falling away. Things are changing. You have the Wheel of Fortune. It's the very first card of your overall energy, Capricorn. Okay, So something is obviously changing in a pretty big way. Now, followed by the Tower, and you have this Page of Cups. Or, I'm sorry, Page of Wands here, which is an energy of re-identifying yourself. Yeah, you are going to need to change the people that you surround yourself with. Okay? Closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here, Capricorn. You have... Well, there you go. The Eight of Cups. And you know, this is a this is our as a reader, this is the walking away card, leaving leaving something behind. I personally want to change the narrative. I want to say we're moving forward. Nothing left to do but to move forward from here, right? That's very good. Capricorn, that's very, very good. Eight of Cups is coupled with. Damn, look, the Eight of Swords. But you know what, though? I really love the way the Eight of Swords is depicted here because, yes, the Eight of Swords is very much a mental prison, right? Okay, and it's something that you're going to need to break yourself free from. But ultimately, when you break free from this period or when you break free from this in this deck, this cocoon, you emerge a butterfly or you emerge something or someone very, very different than you were in the past. Hopefully, right? For the most part, you do. And thus, I, I kind of feel like Capricorn, this is an energy of you getting ready to break free of your cocoon, break free from the shell, emerge as the butterfly that you've been growing into. Two eights, eight of cups, eight of swords. I love that. Lots of abundance here for you. Lots of abundance here for you. That's beautiful, Capricorn. All right, so now... Let's close out your reading. I want to get you a little bit of oracle guidance from the unicorns. I haven't even taken that out of the box yet. Look at me. So silly. Okay. All right, Capricorn. Let's close this out for you. See what the unicorns have to say for you here. One last shuffle for my Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising, Venus and Jupiter for the month of May 2020. Woo! Well, look at that. Okay, we're gonna leave it there. Overall energy, okay, Capricorn, you have healer. 
yeah, yeah, there are some of you out, Capricorns out there that I know of that, yes, you are in fact healers. This is beautiful. You are on a healing journey, my friend. Keep going. This says you have powerful healing gifts. Have faith in your abilities. Stay true to your path as a healer. Yeah. This has all been part of your healing path anyway, so keep on trucking. Keep on trucking. Okay. You have abundance, which is the first card that popped out for you. Enjoy the bounty of life. Your supply is unlimited. Blessings are coming to you. Beautiful. You have nature. Ground yourself. Find a sanctuary in nature. Connect with the elementals. This came out for Virgo too, I believe. This came out a number of times. Um, but yeah, getting to nature, getting back to nature is going to be very helpful, very important for you. And then there's hope. Oh, this, I almost want to cry when I see this card. Um, apparently this card got wet. But this says hope. Stay positive. The worst is behind you. Look up to the light. Ooh, wow. And I just saw 555 five, five on the counter there. 3555. So yeah, there's big change. Some of you are coming out of a pretty toxic situation probably. Or just a really rough period in your life. Um, but that is the healer's journey. We a lot of, I mean, I am on that journey too. What we often go through some really rough shit so that we can help others heal. That's where you are. So there you have it, Capricorn. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, I hope you guys have a fantastic month. I'm going to get into your love reading next, which will be found, which is, can be, excuse me, can be found on Patreon, my Patreon page. Woo! Patreon.com slash Divine Conversations. Also, the link is in the description box below if you want to check it out. So in there, I'm going to get into your love messages. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading, most likely for the month of June. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!